Is this happening to you? <laughs> then you're in the right place for video game training. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to defeat the Mukturuk at the Water Temple in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah. The key word in this fight is water. Water is going to be our best friend. We need to use water to clear the sludge from the floor. We also need to hit the sludge shark with some water as well. By hitting the sludge shark with some water, it will then reveal the muck to rock, giving you the opportunity to put in your attacks. That is essentially the fight, but there's a few tactics and tips that we can use. This whole temple has low gravity, so every time that you jump up in the air, you can get yourself bullet time forward slash slow motion if you whip out your bow and arrow. So we can use this slow motion to our advantage. We can jump up in in the air and then take aim with an arrow and you could use something like a splash fruit or you could even use a blue chew jelly both of those items have a water effect and because you get such a long time up in the air you can shoot multiple of these arrows and clear the whole arena of sludge and you can also shoot these water arrows directly at the shark you can also use Sidon's water ability so if you press on Sidon you'll initially get buffed with the water protection around you this protection will completely tank one hit and then if you attack whilst you've got this water around you it will send a water wave in the direction that you attacked in. So you could use this water wave to clear the sludge. We could also hit the shark with it and reveal the muck to rock. Once you have hit the shark with some water, it will then reveal the muck to rock and the muck to rock will start to run away in fear. Usually I find it best here to jump up in the air and take aim with the bow and then fire off some arrows until it stops the muck to rock in his tracks. There seems to be a small time period before it allows you to hit the muck to rock and knock him down to the floor. So you might find that your first few shots don't knock him over, but when he comes out of the roll animation and starts running, in, that's when you can knock him down to the floor. Once you have knocked him down to the floor, then head on up to him and do as much damage as you possibly can. If you have any attack up food buffs, then make sure to pop those. After a little while, then the muck to rock will then go back into the shark form. And at this point, you just rinse and repeat those tactics. It is worth mentioning that you can actually just throw the blue chew jelly, or you could throw the splash fruits on the floor if you want to, to clear the sludge. It's just that if you do it by jumping up into the air and using an arrow, then you get the slow motion. There are a few attacks that we need to watch out for, such as the one where you shoots like a jet of sludge towards you. With that one you can jump over it or you could use Sidon's ability where you get the water protection and then just tank the hit whilst you've got the protection on. The same applies for most of the attacks in this fight. He also does one where he kind of like sends a wave of sludge outwards from where he is. Once again you can just jump over this wave of sludge or you could use Sidon's water protection. After you get his health down to halfway he will transition into phase two. Phase two is very similar to phase one apart from there's just a lot more sludge on the floor. Once again use the same tactics to get rid of the sludge, anything to do with water, splash fruits, Sidon's water ability. If you do have it, you could also choose to use a Zonai Hydrant. I find it quite useful to attach a battery to a Hydrant, then turn the Hydrant on and use Ultra Hand to just move the Hydrant around the arena. This will clear a lot of sludge and you can also use this water to attack the shark as well. In this phase of the fight, the Much Rock will kind of like jump between the sludge pools on the floor. So a good way to stop him from doing this and knock him to the floor is to jump up into the air and take aim with your bow. Then you can fire an arrow at him as he's jumping in between the pools. This will knock him down to the floor and into the same cycle again where he runs away. So just rinse and repeat and head on over and put in your damage. Just make sure that there's a clear path between you and the muck rock at this point because you want to run up to him as fast as humanly possible so you can put in as much damage as you can. So what you could do is as you've knocked him out of the air with the arrow you could stay in slow motion whilst you've got your bow and arrow out and then fire loads of chew jelly so you can clear the sludge away from the floor. Even if you don't use Sidon's water attack ability very often it's quite a good idea to have Sidon's water protection on anyway because if you've got this water protection around you then you get to be hyper aggressive and you don't really need to worry about avoiding the attacks that much because you can just tank them. Another thing that you can do is take his health down a lot just by shooting him with arrows because you get so much time in bullet time you can fire so many arrows which just absolutely obliterates his health so make sure to take advantage of that if you've got a bunch of arrows and don't forget that you can fast travel and leave the dungeon if you don't have enough stuff to take out the boss so if you feel like you need to go and get some more arrows or some splash fruit and stuff like that then just whip up your map press x to change it from dungeon to world map and then you can just fast travel out of there and once you're ready just open the map and fast travel back to the temple just keep in mind if you do leave mid boss fight then his health is going to restore to full when you go back rinse and repeat these tactics and you'll be saving hyrule in no time if you want to continue your video game training then check out one of these videos right here i've covered loads of games such as elden ring sekiro bloodborne dark souls 3 neo 2 ninja gaiden and loads more some videos have just popped up right now feel free to check them out and give them a click hopefully you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one